Windows 10 is just around the corner. Heck, it might even already be out depending on when uh, we get around to editing this video. So we decided to give you guys the scoop on Windows 10 and ice cream. Just kidding, no ice cream. We'll just be answering frequently asked questions about the latest iteration of Microsoft's Windows operating system. Oh. Now that the ice cream riots of 2015 are finally over here, we can get into this video. First, you'll need a compatible device like a PC. Your PC should have at least these minimum requirements as laid out by Microsoft. A processor running at one gigahertz or faster. That is such an outdated metric. We don't even consider that anymore. Uh, RAM, you'll need one gigabyte for the 32-bit version or two gigs for 64 bits. For free hard drive space, you will need a whopping 16 gigabytes for the 32-bit version or 20 for the 64-bit version. You'll need a Microsoft DirectX 9 compatible graphics device with Windows Display Driver model, so that's a driver type. Uh, so basically, you know, a 9700 Pro and a P3 could theoretically, uh, you wouldn't want to do that. Finally, you'll need a Microsoft account, sort of, and internet access to get that, you know, logged in if you want to be securely logged in. If you're running Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1, you can actually reserve a free upgrade to Windows 10 today. That's for consumers. You have until July 20. 29th of 2016 to take advantage of the upgrade. And if you're unsure of which version that you are running, Windows can actually determine that for you. It's smart like that. So where do you go to reserve Windows 10? Well, there's a small Windows icon located in the taskbar near the clock. Once the offer is available to you, just click on that bad boy and press reserve when you're prompted to. There's no obligation. You can cancel any time. But who doesn't want free stuff? If the icon's not there, it's either because your device is not compatible or the copy of Windows is not a genuine or it just hasn't been offered to you yet. Like, for example, my laptop doesn't have the icon yet, but it should be coming sometime after the launch. Once you've reserved, Windows 10 will download to your device once it's available, and you'll be notified when your device is ready to have the upgrade installed. Now, some of you are thinking, is it really free? Is it free? Does it come with Bing? There has to be some sort of, like, a demo or something, right? No, this is a full version of Windows, not an intro, not a a free trial. The only catch is that you just have to redeem it within the first year that Windows 10 is available. So Microsoft is putting that deadline on there to really drive adoption. Okay, so then uh, what if I don't redeem an offer? How much do, does it cost to just buy? Well, there are two versions, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. At the time of filming, Home will be $119 and Pro will be $199, with the main benefits, as usual, being things like remote desktop connection and being able to join a domain. Another question for you. Well, that you theoretically asked. I'm answering a question. Don't worry too much about it, okay? Sprain your brain. Uh, can you upgrade all of your devices? Yes, you can get free upgrades for all of your eligible Windows devices. It's not like one per customer or anything like that. Next question. What edition of Windows will I get, Linus? I'm glad you asked. That'll depend on the version that you're currently using. So for Windows 7 Starter, Home Basic, and Home Premium, you'll get Windows 10 Home. For Windows 7 Pro and Ultimate, the upgrade gives you Windows 10 Pro. For Windows 8 users, 8.1 will give you Windows 10 Home, 8.1 Pro will give you Windows 10 Pro. It's pretty self-explanatory. And for Windows Phone 8.1 users, you can get Windows 10 Mobile. You wouldn't get a desktop operating system. You can't run that on your phone at all. Unfortunately, people with Windows RT devices will not be receiving upgrades to Windows 10. So that's about it. Um, you know, some of the more frequently asked questions about how to reserve your copy of Windows 10. Um, that, you know, leave a comment if you have any other burning questions about Windows 10 that we, you know, didn't answer today because the world is not magic and I can't ask you guys to submit questions at the beginning of the video and then answer them unless we were to stream something like this live, in which case it would be a lot longer to, you know, do. We'd have to sit around and wait for questions. There'd be dead air while I just kind of kill time waiting for the next question to come in. Like, Linus, will, will Windows 10 support DirectX 12? Yeah. Yeah, will. And is this video over? Yes, I think it is for now. Thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. Leave a subscribe. Do subscribe. Leave a like. Both of those things if you want to see more videos like this from NCIX.com.